Hello and welcome to my channel, where I review the latest episodes of The Winter King, the historical fiction series based on Bernard Cornwell's in this video. I will talk about the season finale, episode 10, titled A Shocking Twist and a Bloody Battle. This episode was full of surprises, drama, and action, as Arthur faced his enemies and his destiny. The episode starts with Arthur believing that Bishop Bedwin will be able to negotiate peace with Gorfid, the King of Powys. However, when Morgan and Durfal arrive in Powys, they discover Bedwin being crucified by Gorfid's men. This is a shocking and brutal scene, as Bedwin was a loyal and wise advisor to Arthur and the King of Dumnonia. His death also means that there is no hope for a peaceful resolution between Arthur and Gorfid. Meanwhile, Ninu, the pagan priestess who has a special connection to Merlin and the God's One, is accused of poisoning a Christian village with her magic. A mob of angry villagers captures her and demands justice from Arthur. They want him to burn her at the stake, or else they will rebel against him. Arthur is faced with a difficult dilemma. He loves Nimu and respects her faith, but he also needs the support of the Christians to unite Britain against the Saxons. The episode also reveals a shocking twist. Arthur and Guinevere's secret affair is exposed by Sansa, a fanatical Christian monk who hates Arthur and his pagan allies one. Sansom tells Gorfide that Guinevere is pregnant with Arthur's child, and that he can use this information to blackmail Arthur and ruin his reputation. Gorfide agrees to this plan, and sends a messenger to Arthur with an ultimatum. Either he surrenders to Gorfide and gives up his claim to the throne of Britain, or he will reveal his adultery to everyone. Arthur is outraged by this threat, and decides to fight Gorfide in a final battle. He gathers his army of warriors, including Durfal, Sagramor, Cadwiz, Owain, Lunate, and Lanvalwan, and marches towards Powys. He also frees Nimue from the mob, and tells her that he will marry her after he defeats Gorfid. Nimue is overjoyed by this promise, but she also has a vision of a terrible fate awaiting Arthur. The episode ends with a bloody and epic battle between Arthur and Gorfid's forces. The two armies clash on a hilltop, with swords, spears, shields, and arrows flying everywhere. The battle is fierce and chaotic, with many casualties on both sides. Arthur manages to reach Gorfid's tent, where he confronts him in a one-on-one -on -one duel. However, before he can kill him, he is stabbed in the back by Sansom, who has sneaked into the camp. Arthur falls to the ground, bleeding profusely. Gorfid laughs triumphantly, thinking that he has won. But then, Merlin appears out of nowhere, wielding Excalibur, the legendary Sword of Kings. He strikes down Gorfid and Sansom with his magic, and rescues Arthur from certain death. He tells him that he is the true king of Britain, chosen by the gods. He also tells him that he has a son with Guinevere, who will be his heir. He then takes him to Avalon, where Nimue awaits him. The episode ends with a shot of Arthur lying on a bed of flowers, surrounded by Nimue and Merlin. Wow! What an amazing final, I loved every minute of it. It was full of twists and turns, emotions and action. I think this episode was the best of the season, and maybe even the best of the series so far. It left me wanting more. What did you think of the episode? Did you like it or not? What was your favorite part? What do you think will happen next? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and analysis of The Winter King. Thank you for watching, see you next time.